sort of a glutton. I was like a chubby middle schooler. It was during those years when your self-esteem is sort of like shifting the end of elementary school through middle school. That was, those were the years when I was like more chubby. And so it's still, I still feel like that, <laughs> even though I'm not. I had like some weird food issues growing up. I was probably 19 or so, and it just got to the point where it was like, I couldn't handle it anymore. Like I couldn't have a relationship and I couldn't really like get along well with other people with it. My mom had a lot of issues with her body and like passed those on to me and let me know <laughs> that um, she would say things to me like, you know, you're lucky that you have a pretty face because uh, the rest of you is <laughs> not good. We need to take care of it. We need to do something about it. it weirdly didn't help. Did it make, uh, did it make me lose weight? <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, it was never the intention of my mom, I'm sure, to like <laughs> lead to like serious issues with like food and body image later in life. I think she just thought, you know, we want Ryan to be healthy and like, I'm, I'm sure she knew that I was getting made fun of or teased about it, but the fact of the matter is, it's like, that's something that I've never been able to shake is kind of that perspective. So like, I mean, and that leads to all sorts of insecurities too, not just body image, but like it can just kind of branch out from there. But I wish I didn't have that relationship at all with food. Yeah, fat for me is an accurate description of my body. Um, I understand that a lot of people don't like it. And I haven't always, I mean, by no means, you know, when I was... 15, if somebody called me fat, then it was like the end of the world. It's like, oh my God, like, I'm not fat. I'm, you know, I'm plus sized or I'm curvy. Like it, it kind of ebbs and flows like how much I care. When life is good, I probably don't care that much at all. But when I've got nothing else to pay attention to, yeah, I definitely notice. I don't really think that it ever will be something that I can just like not worry about. I mean, there's so much pressure that comes with being a woman today. You have to be beautiful. You have to have wear the greatest things. You have to look fantastic all the time. You have to have the body of a goddess. I have a hard time with that, and I have a hard time with women and not loving themselves first and not, and not waking up and saying, I mean, what's sexy to me, and do I want to feel sexy, and what makes me feel sexy, and what is what I want to represent. I think it's crap. I mean, it takes practice not to compare myself to, well, because I don't look like this and I don't look like that, then how am I supposed to fit in where, and just being okay that there is only one person like me in this world, and that's okay, and that is okay. It's so funny, during, during the summer, I was like, all right, I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna go get all these fruits and all these vegetables and all this stuff and cook all the time, and I was, I was doing it, and it was amazing, and I, I felt, I felt physically better than I had in a while, and it was it was really enjoyable and inspiring to be able to get all this stuff and chop it all up and you know do whatever to prepare it and be finally get to eat it and be like I did this myself. This is awesome. This feels so good. But the truth is, we live in such a, a fast-paced world that it's hard to it's hard to even get up. And enough time in the morning to make myself some eggs and some tea, which I've been trying to do, but it's it's tough. <laughs> I think if there was anything I could change about my relationship to food, it would be having more healthy food readily accessible and affordable. Like, because if you are on the go, the, a lot of the options are you know kind of unhealthy. So it'd be really cool if there was like a fast food place you could go through and get like roasted vegetables and like grilled chicken with teriyaki sauce or something like that instead of like, a, you know, a burger or a really um, burrito with these ingredients that are really might be damaging and questionable to your body. If there was one thing that I could change about my relationship to food, it would be just like straight up not eating as much of it. My life as far as what I eat is like a constant struggle between me wanting to go like, I'll go to I'll go to Winco, which is like the bulk grocery store where you can shop for cheap around here, and I'll go buy like uh, aspirational foods I call them, 
plenty of veggies and just like chicken breast. And I'll go through those pretty quick. And then, uh, and then I hit a point where we don't maybe have as many of those or I'll wake up hungry and I go buy a burrito and then I start eating like shit. Uh, and then I just get into that groove. I'm not an emotional eater. <laughs> but I... it makes, even though you're not, though, it'll make you feel better. I don't know why, oh, it just no. does. Eating some Ben and Jerry's cookies and cream, chocolate chip, marshmallow, just, it's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love to eat. I love everything about food. I love making food. Love smelling food. I love everything. <laughs> everything. Love food. Um, but also it's my love of food that can also lead me to trouble, I think. I, I definitely probably eat more than I should because I enjoy it so much. I wish I didn't want to eat so much. Mm. And I wish I didn't like cheese so much because it makes me really fat. Uh, <laughs> that You're I'm beautiful. Not... Stop. <laughs> well, you know, I I have to work hard not to be severely obese because obesity, like, you know what I mean? Like when you know obesity runs in your family, high blood pressure, like all of those sort of like health issues, like at a certain point you have to decide to like give it up. That's kind of the cool thing about Obama and Michelle Obama is that she's totally all about that <laughs> or all about that and all about being like eat food and jump around and exercise and like and people and she is criticized for it. And that's the nut, the thing that's really nuts about it is that she's criti criticized about actually caring about people's health and like nutrition. I do love working out now, but I was I was I was chubby. <laughs> I was chubby, but I was cute. Yeah, I was cute too. though. I was cute. I was cute. We were both cute, chubby in high school. <laughs> now, like I love riding my bike. I'll when the you know. Even now it's February, it's in the middle of winter, and when there's a day that's like 30 or 40, I'll ride my bike, I love it. It makes me feel great, and it makes me feel motivated to want to take care of my body and take care of myself. I like doing activities like for a purpose. Like I like riding my bike, like if it's like to work, but if I just like go on a bike ride, the whole time I'm like, I can turn around now, 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 I can turn around now. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do something more fun. I lost 100 pounds at one point, so I try and be very healthy overall. Because I always looked at runners and I was like, I, I want to be that. And now I've become that. You know, like I would always look at runners and be like, I can't do that, I'm too big. And finally I've gotten to that spot where I can run and do races and whatnot, which is ultimately where I always wanted to be. So it's, those days are always really proud. I have a lot of pride in those moments when I cross the finish line. At my heaviest, I was at like 210 pounds, and like I'd been lifting weights, and like I was still pretty big, and I just got sort of fed up with like that sort of mediocrity. Like I just wasn't achieving what I wanted to achieve, and I just made the decision, like you know, I'm just gonna start running, and I'm just gonna be more focused on my diet, and just change it all up, and try and go as hard as I can at what I'm gonna do in life to succeed.